The U.S. Army installation Fort Polk in Leesville will be renamed Fort Johnson soon. Fort Polk began as a base for the Louisiana maneuvers in the 1940s. It was named after Lieutenant General Leonidas Polk, who served during the Civil War for the Confederacy. He commanded troops in several battles and was killed in action in 1864 during the Atlanta campaign. The post will be renamed after World War I soldier William Henry Johnson, who was a sergeant assigned to an all-black National Guard unit that would later become the 369th Infantry Regiment. Johnson was in frontline combat in France and for his battlefield valor became one of the first Americans to receive the French Croix de Guerre avec Palme, France's highest award for valor. Posthumously, Johnson was awarded the Purple Heart, the Distinguished Service Cross, and the Medal of Honor. Fort Polk Commanding General David Gardner said, Sergeant Johnson's acts of selfless service during World War I will inspire those at our installation, where we have trained and deploy America's men and women to fight and win our nation's wars for over 80 years. Ball resident John Paul Adams is not happy with the name change. This politically correct stuff kind of, it kind of bothers me. It does. They're trying to rewrite history, for one thing. And two, they're just, I don't know, I, I think it's a, an orchestrated attempt to change our history, to modify things, to really to, to mess with the country, really. Janae Gagnard also doesn't think that Fort's Polk name should be changed. I don't see its necessity. Uh, I think it's always been Fort Polk. Um, it survived all this time under that name. I don't see why it would be relevant to change the name now. Gagnard says the installation is important to the community. I think it does a great service for our military for our training purposes. Um, and we benefited nicely by getting 28 West improved because of Fort Polk. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.